Welcome back to the channel. So this video is about what I'm holding in my hand here. Uh, it's an egg with my logo, my YouTube logo on it. And you can see actually, to show you what my logo is, it's actually a Bridgeport mill head on the top, a lathe at the bottom, and then connecting the two is actually a bandsaw is what that is, okay? Um, so this video is about what I used to put my logo on this egg. So let me show you what I have. So this is a little CNC machine that I've made uh, to draw on eggs, or it can actually draw on any um, spherical objects like uh, Christmas ornaments or things like that, golf balls, whatever. Um, so I actually put this together. Um, there's, there's machines out there that you can buy uh, complete if you don't want to you know, build something, just want to have a machine like this. Um, they call them egg bots. You can Google egg bots and you can buy them at evilmadscientist.com uh, complete. But the route I went, uh, and I'll show you the machine a little bit around the machine here, what it looks like. So as you go around here, the main components of the machine, there are two stepper motors. There's one in the back here and one on the side. And then there's also a servo motor, like you'd find on your RC car there. You can see it when it just went off to the side here. See the arm there? So that's the servo motor. And then there's a control board here that controls the servo and the two stepper motors. Now, I bought the kit uh, that consists of the two stepper motors, the servo motor, and the control board from jjrobots.com. They sell it complete and nice instructions and everything how to download the firmware onto the board and what software that you need to run it. Everything uh, is complete with really good instructions on how to set that up. The other components that I used, now you can actually 3D print a body too, uh, and JJ Robots gives you the link there to Thingiverse where you can download the body for the machine. <clears throat> If you want to go that route, uh, it can work. I built this body uh, and I bought components from Open Builds Parts Store. Uh, they have it there. And in their site, they had um, one of the kits the, or articles on the kit from Nico's Egg Painter, is what they describe it. And he did something very similar to this using Open Build components. So it was just easier to do with the extrusion. And the brackets, uh, you can buy them. I don't have to do a lot of uh, machining there to make those. So it made it a little quicker. Um, the arm, the linkage arm, was another story. That's a separate piece. Now, what most designs use, I'll show you here, is a single pivot arm. And the problem there is I had with hinges. I tried all kinds of different ones. And it's just not stiff enough. You know, you get a little movement, and a little movement translates into, you know, less clear images that you're putting on there. So I tried all kinds of different hinges. I even bought the ones from Evil Mad Scientist that they use on their actual printer that you can buy, complete. And I just wasn't happy with it. And I finally came across a linkage arm. It's a four-bar linkage arm. You can see it here. And it's on Thingiverse. You can download it, 3D print it. It was made by or designed by Eric Glaser, Glaser, G-L-A-S-E-R. And this really was a game changer. What it does, as you can see, it's since it's a four-bar linkage, it goes down, straight up and down as you go. Okay, so it keeps the pen even with the egg, where the other arm pivots and you don't get that uh, straight line then is what happens. Uh, the other components on it, I 3D printed the tail stock part of it uh, also and it's got bearing in it. There's just a spring and I had to make a spacer here to extend it away from the actual tail stock unit to give the head clearance to swing without hitting you know, both sides. And I had to do the same thing with the stepper motor. I made an extension piece um, to go to the 
part that actually holds the egg. And these two pieces, I tried different things too, but I ended up buying um, what they're using on the, the uh, EggBot kit that you can purchase. This is what they use on theirs to hold the egg. And it really works. So I just broke down and bought these two pieces uh, from them. So that's the basic assembly. Let me go show you how this works. So the first thing we gotta do is get the egg uh, in the machine. Uh, usually I put the heavier side this way, you know, as it, it tapers down that way. So that's the reason for the spring. You could adjust this whole position and then you wanna get enough tension on the egg to keep it in there. So let's go ahead and put that in there. And then you don't need an indicator for this one, um, but you do wanna spin it. And actually, <laughs> I got it pretty good first try there. Um, it's actually pretty concentric there, so I think that part of it's good. What I'm using to actually draw on the eggs are Sharpie Ultra Fine Point Markers. Um, if you're planning on eating the eggs after you color them, paint them, um, you probably want to use food grade markers. I'm not sure because it does bleed through the shell and I'm not sure about eating uh, things that are colored with Sharpie Ultra Fine Points. but. You can use different markers. Um, the only disadvantage, you know, the thicker the marker, the more blurry the image will be. So the next step is getting the marker in the machine. And I'll show you how I do that. Um, I have this alignment piece, or actually support piece here that holds the head up in position for loading. So we'll go ahead and load that. And then I also have this piece to set the depth of the marker so it's always the same. So we put that on the bottom here. And then we get our marker. And you just drop it in. And when it hits the bottom of that alignment piece, you just lightly tighten it up. So it holds the marker in place and then pull this piece away. So now we'll go on to the next step. So you do have to connect the, what we're calling a CNC printer or drawing machine um, to a computer via USB and the software that it uses is Inkscape and if you go to the um, JJ Robots site uh, they'll tell you where to download that or you can just Google it but I think you need a certain version here the 0.91 version for this to work. Now you can see on the screen there's a pattern and that's what we want to print on this egg and the way they did this is uh, they programmed it as an extension here, and I don't know how hard that is to see. Um, and then they've got what's called EggBot Control. So you go over there. So once we're in EggBot Control, we can do a few things. Um, we'll go to manual mode, and we can manually control this. So the first thing in manual control, we want to enable all the motors. I have them disabled now so I can move it around and you know set the run out of the thing so let's go to enable motors but first let's check if our pen's in the right position it looks like it's in the middle of the egg so i would say it's good so i'm just going to go ahead and say enable motors and apply it and if you heard that it now locked in place and it's ready to go now I'm just going to go back to the software, and in this case, you can print with multicolors, and that's a different uh, story. It's just a little more complicated, but here, we're just going to do one color. So we just go to the plot, and we go down here to apply, and that's it. Let's see what happens. And there it goes. It's starting to print the pattern. And this is about the speed that it goes at. Most eggs take, you know, with a basic design, probably at least five minutes. Your more intricate ones take probably close to a half hour, uh, if, especially if you're doing multiple colors. So as it's printed, I'll show you a little bit more around. The board usually just flashes the lights that it's communicating. Show you some different views.
pretty cool to watch too if you guys have ever played with the old plen pen plotters uh, for CAD systems it kind of prints the same way uh, it just sometimes it does random lines I think it's based on how you drew the object like you can see here it's just going back and forth Okay, so I'll let it finish printing here and we'll show you the results. So as it's printing here, you can see that the two stepper motors, you know, they're rotating. You can see the one rotates the pen back and forth and the other one spins it on the axis of the egg. And the servo motor is what's the interesting part, and I don't know how well you can see it here. It just lifts the pen up and down. So as it drops down, it's printing and then it pulls it out of the way so you're not drawing across the egg. So we can see it again closer as it comes up. See, it's away from the egg, now it's down. So here's the finished egg. Came out pretty nice. Um, and here's some other examples of eggs I just tried to print. You guys saw the logo egg. Um, different patterns, and you can download them. You don't have to draw them yourself. There's a whole community of people that do different designs. And you can see the multicolored uh, capabilities that you can do. So really cool project, really easy to do. Um, so if you want something cool to try, uh, give that a try. I'll leave the links to the different uh, sites that I mentioned in the video if you want to try this yourself. If you watched my last two videos, I've been working on another project, the Whirly Gig Wind Turbine project. And good news, I have all the parts finally done. It did take forever. There are a lot of little intricate pieces to make here. Uh, some of these are sub-assembled, but you know, there's a swivel unit. Um, like this piece here, there's quite a bit to it. Um, there's gears on the other side and everything. So the good news, it's all together, or not together, sorry, completed. And uh, the next video I'll do is I'm going to put all these pieces together and we're going to hope that it does what it's supposed to do. So stay tuned to the channel for updates on this project should be coming up very soon. All right. Thanks for watching.